Hello YouTube, this is Deadfly RBX and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a hobby and I'm not going to add stuff like pets because I'm just going to show you guys how to do um, checkpoints, how to spot into it and die if you go on a touch a kill pad. So anything here we should probably take just on a look. Anything we should use, like mm, these are our original hobbies. I'm actually going to try to teach like prompts for the game party, but I probably won't. I don't know, I'll decide that later. But yeah, see stuff like yeah, you jump on there and you probably, you know, how hobbies work, like this. So I'm going to make this. For you all to just take the model. The game will be in the description, it'll be uncopyrighted. I won't add the buildings, I'll just add the parts you can build yourself. But yeah, let's get into it. So to start, let's put and make a folder. Inside here, name it main RB and then let oh, me duplicate it again, chuck in the main RB folder and let's name this Stages, stage. No, I name this for the stage touchpads. So, actually, new checkpoints. Check points. Okay. So in here, that's not a part. So let's say that this is the touch point, the checkpoint. And let's name this one. Every name of this will be the name will be what level it is. So if you want, if you're on level two, duplicate. And this to change to two. Let me sort out the properties. Anchor it. And just just go with that. Okay. Now let's code. So and push script in service script service. First of all we're going to start with the leader stats. It won't save because you get tutorials for that. But the way I'm gonna make it is if you guys add a data store to it, it will be easy to respawn on the and on the exact level if you rejoin the game. So there's no extra code needed on the actual data store if you make a data store saving. So what we're going to do here is type leader start and let's start off with the leader start. Okay, so get the players, the game, get service. This just gets a player that this gets this right here. And uh, now let's get the player added event. So players dot player added connect functions. What this basically does it it gets a player that joins the game and yeah and this right here this gets everything about the player that joins. So what you wanna do now is create a folder to put into the player so like let's see now that's me in the actual game now yeah like a folder will be inside here named lead leader starts so this is how you do it so local you can't I don't I'm not sure if you can do it from here I am tried it but I've already done it from the script so local um I just leader Stats equals in the instance start new. This means you can create anything, so you can create anything from in this. Yeah, it'll pop up if you guys can type it up. So let's make a big folder. Now we need to set the folder parent to the player. 
so it will be a folder like the backpack but you won't have that wrench it is a wrench I think but anyway so we do leaderstance.parent equals player now we get this stage the stage value to put inside the thingy the player so lead stats so let's do local stage equals instance dot new oh. now we need to do a number value because it's a number now stage let's set the start of value to one because stage one is when you first join the game and you want to stage dot new that's name it stage or level you can be whatever stage dot one up stage dot pair of equals to leader stats that'll be the in, in the inside of the thingy um if you guys do add a saving data to make it actually save you remember to add the, the add stuff to the data on the server not the client like server script um, yeah, to make the data save you press this and this um, this one is for the data stores and that is for remote events to work which we will not be using um, but yeah that's the leader starts done let's just take a look yep so I was a bit um, I rushed a bit as you see it's named folder here okay, watch that if I name it leader start it'll work so what I need to do on the script is on here we do leader start dot name equal to leader start so that will make it all work as you can see right here it says stage okay now it's time for the actual coding for the checkpoint but first of all I want it to I get the hard let's get, let's get the hard part working first. So we're spawning on the exact level that the data is. So need a where's a okay so you need a spawn point. Put this near or on the level one pad because um loading the character takes a while and if you, if you don't have this anywhere you just fall through to random one you probably die multiple times and you just want to teleport but if this is your yeah, you teleport it'll wait one second and then it'll teleport to the level you're on so if you die and it, it teleports you to level one don't worry because it after one second it'll teleport you to level two if you're on level two so let's actually code this in so Right here, so yeah, script. Let's name this. Hmm, what should we name this? Level, no, I name it stage, so stage TP, just in a while. Okay, so we need um, the players event to get the players, as I explained earlier in the video. Players. And now we need to get the play added. So players dot play added connect function oh, player. Now we need to character added. So player dot we need to put that player, not this. We need player without the without the S. So player dot player plus character added my bad character added connect function oh, my bad so this gets a character that joins the game so now you have to wait one second so the game to make sure the player is in the game and I tried before without the, without the weight down it just won't work now with the weight it fixes everything 
now you wanna the data store um now we need to get the stage we are on let's hmm. i'm trying to think you um um okay so let's let the leader starts first so the leader starts wait play up wait for child the leader starts uh, if you don't do wait for child sometimes it bugs out sometimes it might work if you try it but after you rejoin a couple of times sometimes it shows different results sometimes it works sometimes it won't so now we want to get the now we want to get this because we we already got this part this part just by doing this now we want to get this so what we do is local stage equals players uh wait no no leader starts i was looking at that i was reading it wait for child and then we do stage it has to be exact it has to be spelled exactly the way it is here otherwise it won't work of course and that's it done now we need to teleport the player if the player exists so what we do is if I mean of course character will exist because it's there um, actually we need to check if if the player dies as soon as you spawn it will error so what we want to do here is if if the character is not nil then then we have to do the teleportation of it so we need to get the checkpoints so what you want to do now is get the workspace variable like on the workspace there so local work space equals game to get service workspace now you want to get the main obby folder so that is local main obby folder equals workspace dot main obby now you want to get the checkpoints folder so local checkpoints folder now you do main rb folder dot check no not it starts i had to copy and paste it checkpoints folder which is you'll get this right here now you wanna check if the stage you're on has a part to be on right here so what you wanna do is check if it's there so we'll put and right here and right uh, I'm not yeah I'm actually actually yeah this isn't yeah sorry I was just thinking how to do this and checkpoint folder find first child so what basically this is uh, is this is gonna look through this folder if the stage number is not here like if you're on stage one is that stage one it will teleport you here and if it's not there it will do nothing and it will just keep you at spawn point and now we want to teleport the player to that area to that spawn point so what you want to do is checkpoints folder dot actually don't use a dot you use these I, th I think they got brackets no they're not called brackets they I really don't know what these are called, but all I know is you use them. Um, and now you do dot c 
frame equals no this is means that the player who runs C frame not this so what we're gonna do here is you do character dot humanoid root part dot C frame equal to whatever stage you're on a part so I'll actually teach you I'll show you now how that works so I am now over here actually teleport me now to this part when I join let's press play and I have an error so what's this checkpoint folder is not a member of main RB did I spell it wrong maybe oh I didn't name it I didn't even check on folder that's the okay it should work now my output is off but it did not teleport me leader stuff. apparently oh I know me issue be here I need the player not the players you can name this whatever but it's a bit confusing for me because I like it organized but now it should definitely work see as it teleported me and if I set character it will spawn me right where whatever stage I'm on so first it spawns me at the spawn point and then it spawns me so yeah now it's the kill parts we have to do and we are basically done, there's an RB done if you guys have a part 2 with how to do RBs features like uh, staircase where you go on it and it disappears or like spinny little parts let me know in the comments and I'll do them so right now let's do kill parts so let's add a folder kill parts um, let's add a part and just duplicate you can name you can name it anything so I'm just gonna do I did not mean to put that there, I'll just spawn my keyboard. That was inappropriate, I should not should not have typed that. Um if you've seen it but don't worry if you haven't. Um I'm gonna make this she can make she can take with custom amount of health. Just to man up. So add an attribute in here. Add a number, name this health to take. Uh, what this basically does is on each each part you use, let's just say now you step on this, it will take away uh, let's say 30 health or uh, 15 health or 5 as I put in here. 15 or if you want if, if we want to instantly die just put it to 100 so right now I've got to keep it as 100 let me put it red so you know it's a kill pad and yeah now let's code it now let's put a script kill pads We are going to use. Um, oh, yeah. The last thing you have to do is we have to check my system not even done yet. I don't know why I thought it was. We have to do the kill, we have to do the kill parts and then the checkpoints. I don't know why I didn't. Think of that. Um, yeah, so. Just get this. Just chuck it in here. On here we need to use a debounce, its own debounce, that will not mess for other players in the game. So this is how you do it. So you make a debounces table, just like this. And now you do the player added event, like player added command function. And now you want to make 
the actual debounce. So in the server, yeah, debounces will have to have their own player on there, otherwise it will do for everyone and it will slow down the progress for everyone. Like how fast this script runs. And it'll just be all weird. So this is the side do it so you do debounces. It gets this. You do this weird looking thing again. Square brackets, I think that's that's what it's called. In here it can be it can be this, it can be this, or it can be user ID, but I wanna use user ID because yeah. Yeah, so we then do an equal and uh, in here would be anything, so it can be like uh, the touch debounce equals false. So it can be as many as many as you want, it can be anything. As like a debounce. But we are gonna use this. And now when the player removes from the game, we will also need to remove the player from the debounce table. So what you wanna do is just copy and paste this, delete this player removing so we get the player that's removing from the game now what we're going to do here is if the player ID if if the players if the player has his fault as their own table inside the debounce table then we can destroy it and they'll basically just get rid of the table so now we want to do the actual touch of it. So to make it more organized, I'm just doing like a touch event. So um, a, lo a function, local function, it's easy. Just what you want to do here is local function. You want to do um, kill add touch touch event that's basically what you want to do now in here you will just do this and my bad for local functions it has to be at the top of where you define it because if it's at the bottom as you just seen it will not work unless it's a module script where you just you Lock into module script if, if you wanna use that. But if you're starting new as a programmer, I recommend you do everything I do on here. Because this ain't how I code normally. I use mod I use module scripts, but I'm trying to make it simple for you guys. So now you wanna get the. I do not need to get the player actually, because we have to define our own player in here. So. We need checkpoints folder as name is to kill parts. So kill part folder. So now you want to get everything inside of the folder. So for um v kill parts folder in kill parts folder get children do what this basically does here yeah, is just this gets the index of this folder like one, two, three, four, five, and like how many it is. And this, actually, I think sometimes it's weird, but just don't don't worry about that. I I mainly use this part. I do. So this gets like the actual parts of it, like whatever's inside of the folder, and this right here, it gets everything inside of the folder. Now you check if it's a part or anything like like a mesh part or anything, so you can do the touch events because you can't do touch event on the folder, for example, because it just what it just will error the game. So what you want to do here is if the kill part 
because now you have to get this V now, not this. So you want to check if it is a base part, then um, now you now you went to the touched event. So what you want to do here now is vehicle path or touched connect function. Right, in here you need to put hit because once a, once anything hits the part like um, kills or but not kills like actual parts, pets or um, actual player itself. So on here you need to check if it's a player. Now first of all, let's check if the object that hit it is there. So what I'm gonna do is if hit if it's not nil then this basically checks if it's there or not. Now you wanna check if it's a player of course, the player has a humanoid, so that just connects the health, the everything, walk speed. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is hit dot parent. I should do it as well and hit dot parent. If if hit not nil and hit dot parent is not nil, then hit dot parent. If if hit dot parent find for this child if the humanoid this basically means is if humanoid is in the player then I'll actually show you what a humanoid is right let me test play okay so the humanoid is this right here the watch now when I delete it, see it controls every single part of the body, I can't move nothing. So without it, the character is basically dead. As you can see now I got it back. So so if the human is there, then we want to get the player. So if we want to get the player well, it's going to be the same result of this, but I'm going to define it. And the reason why I'm not putting player, I'm not, the reason why I'm not connecting this to this, is because God knows what God knows going to touch. I don't know what's going to touch it. It could be anything. I think I tried this before, and it was doing everything for everyone in the server, which don't want. You do not want. So it's easier if you do it like this, it fixes everything. So local player no s um, equals to now you want players with an s and a colon get player from characters right here. And the player character is basically hit dot parent because that is this. Now you want to do the debounce, so he doesn't constantly do it. So let's get this. So let's check if it's false. If it's false, then turn it to turn it to true. Wait, not point three seconds. I mean, about three seconds. And just turn it to false again. Now you'll repeat if you walk on or walk off it. That might be an issue. What do you think about that? Because it won't. It won't be constantly. You guys will fi fix up and out. But yeah, if if you can't fix up and out, it just just chuck your health out a hundred. Just add place at a hundred if you can't figure it out, and you just instantly kill them when you go on it. Um, now let's take away the health. So what you want to do here is hit up parent dot humanoid dot health t 
take away that equals then take then you wanna get whatever part ever thing you touch to get the attribute inside of it. So that is this. Of course it's a touched event, it will get it will get this. Now you wanna get to get the attribute you wanna do get attribute and check the name in it. It has to be wherever that's named. Now the kill pad works. Let me actually show you guys it working. Okay, as you can see, I'm in the game. Let's go to the kill pad right here. Watch me die as soon as I go on this. I have an error. What is this? Parent is not a member. Power. Oh, I spelled parent wrong. Let's have a look. Okay, let's see now. There we go, we died. So that's the killing thing parts done. Now it's time for the actual stage changes. So you step on it and this stage will change. So first of all you another script inside here in the super script service. Now you want to make this check point. And again, just copy everything so you will also need the debounces. And copy these two. Go to this for now. Let's name this touch deep. Uh, it's, it's fine, it says touch debounce anyway. Now let's do check points. It's up. No. Check points. Actually, yes, we need, need check points. So that's this. Check points folder. Now local function change stage. St STHGP stage, yes. And again, just check this in here. And it's Basically, the same layout of every of the two things I just done. Um, I will be. I will not be recording this actually because it's fine the way it is. Um, yeah. It's clean enough to do like this. So, what we want to do here is basically copy this. It's literally the same layouts. Um, but without this or mm -hmm. yeah now you need to change the checkpoint folders and stuff and now that's all sorted now in here is where you will change the stage of your own so Yeah, um, let's actually pop in here, this one, just copy and paste this, you don't need the uh, dots because you're already in the game, it doesn't have to load, um, now what you want to do is if if um, I'm gonna make it so you can touch on touch the parts you already unlocked and then you'll straight away put you to back to that level but I'll also show you guys how to make it so you can't just you can't just um how can I say this Okay, so I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make like. Um, one second, let me. Local. Um, already. Stage. Stage. Checker. Alright, so. Let me. If. False. Then. 
it will count stage back when you go back on when you go back forward on hobby and if true me make it lowercase because that's what it is if true then if you go back on the RV if you go back words on the RV and touch a stage checkpoint it won't go back it will stay as current so what this basically means here is basically what it means here if it's false it means if you go back on the RB and you accident, accidentally go on the touchpad um a touchpad no if you if you go back on the RB like see if you like waiting for your friend or waiting for your friends if you go back and you accidentally touch a checkpoint like two levels behind from you it won't on this one or if it's false it will count so it will be set it, it doesn't matter whatever you want but if it's if it's true if you go back to them two levels and you go on, on a checkpoint it won't count it will stay on a current current stage and if you die you go back into your current stage so it for everyone now i'm going to keep it on true because that's more awesome version so if already start stage checker if it's true then and you want to check if it's false then so else if already checker it is if it's false then yeah so if it's false then no, actually no that's for the true one first so the true one is so it doesn't go backwards um, no, let's do the false one first, it's easier. So what you want to do here is if, um, if, here, if, that's not needed actually, that's not needed. Um, but here, stage dot value equal to dot name. Let's add a, a tone number just to make sure it, it's a number. Now here is um, we're going to check. Alright, let's make it now. So it, uh, on this one, it will make it so it goes back no matter what. But on here, it it won't go back. Sorry, I said this too many times. I can't explain it right. Hopefully, you guys get the picture. Um, anyway, now let's check if it's lower. So if st if stage dot value is on, actually no, if it's if it's over, crap. Here is this. If stage dot value. Uh, I don't think this will matter if it's two number. It should be fine because it's literally a number. We see now in the results. Um, if stage dot value, if it's over the name, then that's how you do it. And you can't exploit this. You not it's not possible. Because it's all in the server. If you change on the client, you still can't change it because there's no remote events. It's just the server. So let's have a check. So let's play. We're on stage one. We got an error. Awesome. Yeah, it's a string, so we have to do a tour to number. That sucks. So, tour number. 
same for this and this. Right, now it shall work. Okay, as you can see now we're now in stage one. We go at the end. We'll actually change stage two. And it did not change to stage two. I wonder why is that? Um uh, touch the vent is fine. Checkpoint is right here. Stage values can change, I think. But it's on, it's on true. So it's doing this. Let me um, print three. This is how you check if it's gone past. People use breakpoints, but I still don't understand that. So I'm not using it. But I just use prints for now. Alright, let's see where it's ending. So, let's go on here. It's not checking. Oh, so this is not working by you itself. So, if, if it's over, oh, my bad. It might be under, not over. So now we should work. One, two. And if I reset my character, it will teleport me here. Look at that area. So you spawn on there, and then teleport you to number two. And if you die again, it's the same results. Um, of course, though, that has to be near or on stage one. And the reason why I'm not building anything for you guys is because I'm not a builder. I'm just setting up these packs for you. So stage one, stage two. So all I need to do for stages: duplicate and change the number of the parts. If I kill, if I kill anything easy, you can just like you can duplicate like this. Just anything. Virtually and easy as an hobby. Let's chuck this over here. And if you want to add actual parts for obstacles, start fold in here. Just main hobby like parts. Um, yeah, it's simple. Like part. And yeah, you can chuck these on it. You can decorate the part, you can change the colour of the kill thingies to trick the players if it's not the actual one. But yeah, this is how you do it. If you want me to add updates, let me know in the comments. And I will make them for you. So let's have a last test. So yeah, remember to like, subscribe, press the bell to never miss a video of course. And this will work really fine if you have a data store system. Because if you have level 2 and you're going to leave the game or join the game, I've done the hard part for you. You just have to, you, all you have to do is do the data saving and it will just chuck you around wherever you left at. So, yeah. Hopefully, this was help, help, helpful for you guys. And I'll be back in the next video. If you want to, if you have any suggestions of what I should make next, just let me know in the comments. I need to really make my mind up what to say at the end of the video. And yeah, I'll ignore that. But for now, um, peace.